Scroll mounting is important because traditionally in Song Dynasty and pre-Song Dynasty times, paintings would be either painted on a wall as a mural or they would be painted and mounted into uh, wooden uh, screens, um, folding screens, you know, much like Western art in that Western art was created on canvas or painted on wood. The Chinese would paint on paper and they would paste it to basically a wooden door, add hinges and it would become a folding screen around them. When scrolls and scroll work really came into being, it was the result of using discarded robes of officials or robes of courtesans that were really beautifully embroidered silk that weren't fine enough to wear anymore but was a shame to discard. So they would cut it up, back it with paper, and use it on the borders of a painting. But what it meant is that artwork is now flexible. You can roll it up, you can put it away, you can take it out, you can unroll it. Artwork is now mobile. You can carry it around, you can change it, you can bring it here or there, and it's not a hassle of having it set up this big wood screen. Over time, this became a standard practice because it allowed paintings to be swapped out with the seasons. And that then led to creating these gatherings where you would show off a new painting, you would show off a new piece of calligraphy, and your artwork was changing on the walls. The technology of actually mounting a scroll is pretty intricate. What you start with is a, a painting or a piece of calligraphy written on paper and brushing out the wrinkles so it lays flat and then adding a layer of backing paper to it so that you can hang it on a drying board and it will dry flat, the wrinkles will disappear and it also protects it. So th during the process of scroll making, basically what you're doing is you're adding layers of paper to protect the artwork. You then cut out strips of fabric that are also backed and you glue them around the painting so they form a border. Then you add the bottom and top staves, which are pieces of wood. And so what you're creating is durability and protection, yet you still have the flexibility to roll it up and store it somewhere. But it's durable enough and strong enough that when you unroll it, it lays flat against the wall.